Yo, yo, yo. Alright, so this is Vigor. Alright, after you use the tutorial, you're gonna end up here at your fucking house. Now, this is what you need to know. This thing right here goes into the menu, right? This thing right here goes into your menu. This thing right here goes to the menu. This thing goes into the menu. There's some shit upstairs, but you don't really need to know about that. Down here, by the wig bench, you can go to the menu again. Right here, you go to the menu again. And then, um. So that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then down here, there's a workbench. It's guns, 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 guns. Workbench, you can tap into your menu. Now the menu is the most important part. Now if you, uh, right bumper, customize leaderboards, collections. You always want to go back to your collect, your battle pass, get all the rewards, do the battle pass rewards. Um, collect the points because this game is all about um, collecting stuff and bringing it back to the base. Alright, so one thing you want to do is not take all the weapons into a game, right? So, as you can see here, I got them. Um, I only got a Thompson. You can at the bottom it says aid unequip. Boom, unequip. It's pretty easy. Unequip, 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 unequip. When I started off I had a Thompson and like an AK. And I had a pistol. Man, don't don't take all that stuff in there with you. Cause if you lose if you die, you lose everything. But, I'm so good at this game, so I'm playing PUBG, I guess, from being sneaky and stalking people. I haven't died yet, I haven't gotten killed yet in my five, five or six games. So, but I'm just using the Thompson. I got a couple other guns, but I ain't trying to use them all. This is what's working right now. Thompson, let me uh, add some ammo. I'll put about 80 rounds. It's probably all I'm gonna use for like a round. So it's not like PUBG where you float in and then it's battle royale. It's not battle royale. You can leave whenever you want. Just gotta go to the exit. My suggestion is when you play a game in your first game, I suggest you um, maybe loot a little and then head to the exit and see what it's like. And I'm just like level 1, this is like level 1 through 10. This is the first couple levels. Um, Cause then when you come back you can end up building your shelter. See, like, here we go. I'm already building some shit. You build your shelter, and your shelter helps you, like, I guess, uh... It helps you craft stuff faster. So you can craft, like, uh, guns, ammo, uh, bandages, things you need, things you might need. So here we go. So I'm level like one, two, three, four. So I got the four already. And then each level gives you them some shit. And then you can you can level these up even further. Like the workbench, one through thirteen. Whatever this is, one through thirteen, one through thirteen, one through thirteen. 
these are all things like are, that are outside. You keep going, so that's the point of the game. Going going into the dim, into the map. They call this shit Baby Tarkov. You do runs. You do scavenger runs. You do scavenger runs, right? You're going for them. For loot. Some kills. But if, if you die, you lose everything. So, now here is the other part. Good. Nice thing about this whole, like, area. Is I'll show you them. See, like, this wheelbarrow. This shit, these boxes. These things later on. Will turn into something. This axe. I collected something right there. Collected something. But over here is the shooting range. Now the shooting range is straight. Oh, looks like I just got like some new shit. Show you the shooting range with the Thompson. Uh, bottles. Yeah, like just like level one. How about just level one and shit? So with any gun, you right click on the stick. Right click on the damn uh, on the right joystick, and it puts you in the first person mode. Oh, if you down press on the D-pad, it puts you in a single shot. See, that's full auto. That's full auto. Should have reload. So you can be like, yeah, you can be like, what up, 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 bro, what up, what up. You know what I'm saying? I think you hit the damn. Okay. Hit single mode. Start bucking. And it's kind of like some DayZ shit. Um, there's a couple more things that I'll have to get into in like a next video to really show like the wheel. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to figure out though. As far as though, like the wheel. There's a wheel. Um, like for your gun wheel and your consumables. Your gun wheel, I think, is on the right bumper, and your consumables on the left bumper. And and that's it. You just then um, like run up the shit, you grab it, you loot it like that. Is be like a little ex. You grab that shit. You go and see somebody. You fucking wet them up like that. Like blah blah blah. And that's about it. You set that shit. It says reset, but it didn't do it. Oh shit. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Now, I suggest doing these like little challenges. Because it'll give you an idea, like, as far as the range. See, like this is a this is a Tommy gun. But the higher challenges are them. What was the last bottle? But anyways, but anyways, so let me show you around the camp. I mean, it's basically your whole camp. You got like this shit over here. That's it. Go down there, there's nothing over there. You can lay down like this. Get up. But like I said at the beginning, you got one, two, three, four, five, six spots from where you can uh, enter the map. When you enter the map, Outlands this right here picks your uh, your map 
I've been doing um, Encounter. It's right here on the right. Encounter is called Fisk Fabric. It's called the Class Scout Lands, I guess. Then there's a couple other maps. The Shootout one right here is like a like a deathmatch that's good to get some points, I think. Good learn the guns. Hit the right bumper. You got your equip. Like what you're gonna take your loadout. You got your uh, weapons, ammo, consumables. You can add shit on there. I can add some guns or, or not. Then you gotta add the add the ammo. And then you wanna add like some consumables. Right, right. Then um this is your build, right? You know, right bumper. Building shit. Crates. Always come here to the crates. Cause like you you will level up like really fast after like just a couple of times man playing this game. And I always check for the like, crates. Cause every time you like level up here, it'll give you some shit. And then customize, I mean it's kind of bullshit until you actually get some shit. The only thing I've gotten so far was like this little backpack. This purple backpack. Uh, this just gives you your stats. I've encountered six players. I've killed four of them. But like... I've killed four, but like two of them didn't have guns. Not everyone like even goes into like the thing like with guns so far as far as I've seen. It's not no, no sweats yet. I think because everyone's so low level. Collections. This is like trolls, lighters, and vinyls. Um, I ain't found these yet, but it must be something in the game. I did find a vinyl, one vinyl. So that's that thing. That was a song that you probably just heard playing. Let's see. Okay, this is like the uh, some shit in the store that you buy. Yeah. All right, and, uh, and that is it. Yeah, that's it. That is it. The only other thing is be like crafting. You want to go to crafting. Crafting's like right here, right here in the equip. You can uncraft shit. Like you can like uh where does it call man? You can craft shit. Like I can craft this Thompson because I got the plan for it. I got the plans to craft. I can craft the Thompson and you see that little blue, you see that little yellow wrench? Silver pigeon for the shotgun. You got a yellow wrench, and you can uh, dis disassemble stuff too to give you like points as far as like a ma build a material. Yep. So that's about it. That is my little tutorial for like the first ten levels of this game, as far as I've gotten so far. So. I'm about to uh, get off here and uh, try to upload this shit on YouTube. Show this shit to my friends so they can try to get on. The damn Fred Fenster and the uh, the Black Eagle. Maybe the damn J Friend. Doubt the J Friend get on here. But we'll see, man. You might see us them wrecking your wrecking your city pretty soon. Peace.